Okay guys, so I'm back here at Tully's and right now they're doing something. They still have the bears. They're not out of those, but I want to show you the new items. So they do have these bags. The tote bags, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty bag. And I will show you this because I do have this at home. I do have this one. They have the birdie bots. This is what you would call a cosmetic case. This is a cosmetic case here. There's nothing in it. It is just the cosmetic case itself. Sorry, the cosmetic case itself. It is San Hapyakuen, which is basically $18 for this. They have the Birdie Bots tote bag. It is a cute little tote bag here. Not for sure about getting that. I might get this tote bag. It is kind of cute. <clears throat> they have these. This is a key case. It says Harry Potter, Wizarding World on it. This key case is Sin Kuhaku Goju and basically about $20, give or take. They have the cute, look at this, look at this Tully's bottle. This is adorable. I wish I had more money, I would buy these guys, but right now my budget is really low. And my husband would probably kill me. But if you like this now, I am going to, I will purchase things soon. Um, these we can find online at Tully's online shop. And I will show you the link and stuff for that. I will put it up here in the screen to where you can go online to buy it. They are selling out of everything. They do have the cute little Tully's coffee mug. It says Harry Potter in the back, Wizarding World. Birdie Bots of Reflavor Bean. Honey Dukes on the back, Hogsmeade. Legendary Wizarding Sweet Shop. It even got the name of the beans on it. Curry. Looks like earwax. Pepper. So it's got two earwax. It's got a pink one and then it's got a dark one, which is really weird. Tripe. Grass. I actually like the grass flavor. I will not touch that one. That is vomit. You see that? That's vomit. Do not try that. Sprouts. Earwax again. Vomit. Looks like bard. Baked beans. Ah, baked beans. The grass again. Tripe. Liver. So, it's kind of cool. Sardine flavor here. Sardine. So, they've got some really cool ones here. It's really cool. This glass here is Ni Sin Hop Document. It's basically about $28. Everything here includes tax, so you don't have to worry about tax. These are the chocolate frog coasters. I think I am going to get these. It's just regular chocolate frog coasters. Um, the symbol on the back probably says Honey Dukes on it. So I might go ahead and get these. There's only two left. Two left. We only have two left, you guys. Two left. Two chocolate frog coasters. <clears throat> but if I got them, I would not want to use them because they're so cool. Uh, so I'm not for sure about getting these. Now it would be really cool if they actually smelled like chocolate. But I doubt it. So this is just, this here is uh, what the box looks like where the chocolate frogs come in. And then they have this. This is the Honey Dukes. Um, this is a coffee set. It is Ni Sen Nanahakuen, which is basically about $20, $27. This is actually really cool. This is a really cool box. I'm wondering how good the coffee is. It's actually really neat. It kind of looks like a book. I might have to get this because it is kind of cool. And it's, you know, <clears throat> I do have 
an espresso machine at home. I have never tried Tully's, you know, coffee it, right here. It's where you sit. You can set it here on your coffee. I might go ahead and get it. It's made with Tully's coffee beans. We did get some of the Tully's coffee beans, so we have that at home. But I really like this. I think it's really, really cool. It's neat. The box looks really neat here. Very pretty. So I'm not for sure. It's for single sin. It's the holiday magic blend, which I do have the holiday magic blend at home. So I might not get this. If I had the money, I would be buying everything and giving it away, but I do not. But as I said, I showed you before the different, they do have this. So here you go. So they are out. It looks like they have the tote here, but they were out of that one. They were out of the chocolate frog little tote bag with the thing. So that kind of, that's kind of bad. So anyway, so we will be back later. Hey guys, so I am here at Tully's again. And they are doing the next, like, um, the next set of items for Harry Potter. And so what they're having right now is the Honey Dukes. They still have the, the, uh, the pie, they still have the cakes, they still have the donut. But now it's the Honey Dukes chiffon cake. And it looks super adorable and so yummy. And so I will be trying that here in just a minute. And they're still doing the uh, Tully's hot drinks and stuff. So here we go. Okay, so here you go. This is the Honey Dukes chiffon cake. And it has got a sweet sauce along with these little cute little bread stars here. These are actually bread, just to let you know. Here in Japan, these are like bread stars. I wish they were candy, but that would have been really cool because, you know, Honey Dukes is about candy and cake. So this is a honey... Oh, I just messed it up. Oh, my God. I just messed it up. Sorry, guys. I just messed it up. Anyway, so it's got a Honey Dukes on it. And so we are going to try this. Okay, everybody. So we are going to try this cute Honey Dukes. So let's go into it here. <laughs> so the sauce here, the pink sauce that was on it, it kind of tastes like, um, if you've ever tried like, um, strawberry Nestle Quick is kind of what it reminds me of. It reminds me of a strawberry Nestle Quick. Yeah, strawberry Nestle Quick, you guys, from the US, okay. If you haven't tried strawberry mix like wick with skim milk this is pretty much what it tastes like it's pretty good so we are going to try this and see what happens ah. okay so here's okay so here we go trying this as i said before this honey dukes it is kind of like a chiffon sponge cake and it had the honey dukes label on it so with a little bit of the kind of like the sauce that it's got. Here we go. Oh my god. So it's so light and fluffy. If you guys can see this, oh my gosh. It's so light and fluffy on the inside. And you have that. So, of course, these are just little bread stars that they put on there. These little bread stars you can find everywhere here in Japan. You can buy them. Usually these little bread stars are put with your curry or in soups. Honestly, these should have been candy stars is what they should have been. All right. Okay, so as I was saying, these little stars you can buy here in Japan and stuff. They usually put them in curry or soups. And they're okay. They're not a great addition to this. I think they should have had, it should have been a candy star. 
No, it should have been like candy or like colorful chocolate stars or something. But the cake, this cake is amazing. This cake is just awesome. I don't know if you guys can see this. So here's the pink sauce. Here's the top, you know, of the Honey Duke's label. So good. So yummy. This cost um, basically $8.90 here they with tax. So it's Hap Yakup, uh, QGM. Okay, so as I said before, this was for Honey Duke's. And right now they are doing the Slytherin stickers. I did not get a drink, but I will be getting a drink before I leave so I can get a Slytherin sticker. Have to have the sticker combinations. And I will do an update in a few minutes. There is, here in Japan we have gacha machines, which, you know, we call them gacha gacha, what it is. You, you know, it's like a toy, a toy machine where you can put coins in and you can get a toy. You don't know which one you're gonna get, but it does have the picture. So I will show you if I can find it here. If I can't find it, then I will probably just be ordering it to be able to get it because I really, really want it. Um, but anyway, so that's it for here. If you are in Japan, go to Tully's. You can try Honey Dukes. You could get some great Honey Dukes items and try this cake. So thanks for watching. Come to Tully's if you're in Japan, wherever you are. There's many Tully's around Japan. Try the Honey Dukes chiffon cake. Try the chocolate cake that's from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets too. That Crab and Goyle ended up eating the sleeping draft made by Hermione Granger. There's also the um, mince pie drinks. It is, does not have anything, no meat in it. It is actually a fruit, a fruit sauce drink, and it's really good. You can have it hot or you can have it cold. They also have donuts they have the cake still from chamber of secrets from dobby so there's so many things here even the shepherd's pie also there's so many things to discover here you can also go to tully's online tully's dot co dot jp hey guys so sorry it's shaky but i'm holding on to this with my hand because my battery about died so i'm holding on to the battery pack and my phone so i am on my way now here at the mall I was just at Tully's and now I'm going over to the gotcha machines to see if I can find the new Harry Potter gotcha machine there are supposed to be four four different things in the gotcha machine so let's go see if we can find it if it's even there here's four fingers crossed okay I am here at the gotcha machine so here they have tons. There's more actually at the Yale Mall and I will be checking that tomorrow. So let's see here. So far I am not seeing it. I am not seeing it yet guys. Oh my gosh. I don't see it yet. Not seeing it, not seeing it, not seeing it. So all these, most of these are Bandai, Bandai. So it may not be here because it is Bandai. It looks like all of these are labeled Bandai. So if it doesn't have the Harry Potter, then I will have to go somewhere else. But oh my gosh, this one's so cute. You guys, look. This is not Harry Potter, but look at this, look at this. Look at this. Those are so cute. So very cute. It may not be Harry Potter, but I might have to get one. I might have to try to get one just because. So, still looking around here to see if by chance I could, my luck could be good and they could have the Harry Potter. Most of these uh, uh, gotcha machines here are Bandai, so if these are all going to be Bandai, they probably won't have the Harry Potter ones. Which means I will definitely have to go to. Um, I'm definitely going to have to go to the. Uh, 
went to the Eon Mall to get it because they don't seem to have it. I'm looking and they don't have it. This is all about Harry Potter, but just in case, to where you guys look, they've even got here in Japan. Karage, Karage jewelry, bracelet, earrings, ring, and necklace. I'm not wearing food around my neck. It's just not happening. I'm not that way. I'm not going to wear a meat suit like, uh, who was that? Who wore the meat suit? Um, um, oh my God. I can't remember the name of her, her name. <laughs> oh, oh well. So yeah, I'm not wearing a meat suit and definitely not going to wear karage. I like karage. Karage here is fried chicken. Chunks. Chunks of fried chicken kind of like this. And they're deep fried twice. And so, but I'm still not going to wear it. So it looks like they do not have it here. They do not have the Harry Potter. I'm going slow to search just in case. Just in case, by chance, I might run across it. But it looks like, no, they do not have it. They do not have the Harry Potter. So, unfortunately, since they do not have the Harry Potter, I will have to definitely go to Eon tomorrow to check there. They will most likely, I'm going to be, I'm going to say 89% sure they will have it at the Eon Mall. So, anyway, I guess I will try other places.